What is up, everybody? Hope everyone's having a wonderful morning. Um, I just wanted to come on here and talk for a minute and share some news while my beautiful woman's upstairs getting ready. She made it official. She put a ring on it. So I was super excited. So all you ladies out there, back off. Married. Well, not married yet, fiance. Pretty cool, huh? It's really nice. Nice black. Love it. Kind of matches my, uh, the ring I have on. But it's very cool. I love it. Fits perfect. Just feels just so right. I love it. And, uh, I'll give you a little info on our wedding. It's most likely going to be in London. Uh, it's going to be kind of traditional Nigerian style, I guess. So, um, I guess I'll be wearing some, like, stuff. I'm not sure exactly what it is yet. I know it's like some roby type stuff. Like, um, you know, those who know, know. So that'll be kind of cool and fun. But yeah, super excited. So, eee, it's going to be amazing. And I'm super happy. <clears throat> and I can't wait to all the stuff that's going to unravel in our, this new huge last chapter of both of our lives. Any of these guys, stay tuned, she's coming. All right, everybody, here comes my beautiful woman. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, there she is. I heard you guys were calling for me. <laughs> Hello, baby. Hello, sweet lover. I was just telling everybody that you... I put a ring on it. Yeah. Put the ring on it. We're matching, babe. Are we matching? I have my ring. And he has his ring. Yay. So amazing. How do you feel? I feel great. You look amazing. I do? Thanks, babe. Love the dress. I'm glad you like it. Woohoo! One thing about being pregnant is when you have clothes that stretch, they fit. So this stretches and it fits. I like it. Uh, today's a beautiful day, babe, right? How are you feeling today? Well, it's Good looking out there, I guess. I know, it's like, I think it, it might rain today, right? Our days are always beautiful. I mean, yeah, because your day, you make it what you want it to be. Right. Hey, babe. Right. You look beautiful. Well, oh, thank you. You look like, my handsome for a man. Mwah. You look handsome for a woman. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful for a man. And you look beautiful for a man. <laughs> Love it. So, you guys, my beautiful man over here, he's got his ring. Babe. What? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> babe, I'm focusing on them. Sorry, guys. That's right there. Wrong hand, Wrong babe. Hand. And finger. Oh, sorry, baby. <laughs> I don't know. I, okay, I'm pregnant. Let me do pregnancy yeah, brain. Pregnant. She gets an excuse. Pregnancy brain, you guys. So, yeah, today's a beautiful day. I was so, so excited to be here. I don't know what I told you guys earlier. Babe, what were you telling them about me? I was just telling them how you locked me down. Oh, geez. Yeah, I did. She asked me and I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I also asked him if he felt like, what is the energy around the ring when he put it on? He was like, it's amazing. He loved felt it. felt like a phoenix. <laughs> an eagle on fire flying across the Coming back to through life. the lands through the mists of Avalon. <laughs> So he just told me that because, yeah, him and I, we've been through a lot. So one of the ways to find out if something is wrong in your marriage is when you hold your hand out, your ring hand, just kind of focus your attention on it, like your intention, just to feel the energy around it. If the energy is heavy, there's something going on. Most people put my clothes on time, like, let me get that for you. Ugh. <laughs> there we go. It looks good. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. I love it. I like looking at you though, babe. So it amazing. feels good. You know, I, told, I was telling them that to the ladies. I was like, stop. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> See the finger? <laughs> so yeah, super excited. I'm very proud of you, babe. Proud of you too, babe. I like how you just support me and you want to see me succeed. It's amazing. I'm your biggest fan. You need to give me you some pom-poms. Alright, where's the pom-poms? <laughs> Woo! 
He's my biggest fan. We're gonna do it together, babe. No, my uh, my mom used to be the director of cheerleaders. Oh wow. Squad. So I know a little bit of my cheerleaders. Okay. <laughs> a six foot three man, tall. <laughs> no, not. Oh, nice to be a helper. <laughs> Yeah, we had a lot of cheerleaders uh, too, like. <laughs> and, uh, in college, right before our games, the cheerleading squad would come on and sing and dance and perform. And then at halftime, they do it too. So. We were, I actually learned a little bit of, uh, what was it, dance and, mm -hmm. what was the other category, dance and cheer? Yeah, cheer and dance, and they said that's two different facts. things. I was like, oh, okay, here's some facts with the, uh, when we were at that champion club with my woman yeah. getting celebrated the other day as a woman in sports they were they had it's really cool you guys saw little clips of it yes um you know they had a big q a and with all. all the coaches and stuff and uh i didn't know that cheerleaders for professional or college mm -hmm. games didn't get paid enough to like make a living make a living yeah so they all have to have separate second jobs. And then she said another fact, which was- I'm New York. The New York Knicks. New York Knicks. Was yeah. it the Knicks? Oh, the Nets. Knicks or the Nets, one of those two, but they're the only cheerleading squad that actually gets the paid full for their full-time compensation. Yeah. So- They're trying to change all that. Let's change that. Let's get these girls paid, man. Yeah. They deserve it. They it's not hard. easy. Dancing you know? and doing all that stuff. It's hard work, yeah. It's hard training, you know? I've seen it firsthand. It takes a lot of work. It's a lot, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, and they put a lot of effort into that. So shout out. So to let's them. change that. Shout out to them cheer girls and, yeah. dance, and dancers out there. Yeah, you're doing a great good. job. You're gonna get paid soon. Yeah, promise. Yeah, it's gonna work out. So yeah, you guys, super excited for today. Today's a beautiful day, and it's a new era. I'm no longer like a single woman handling things by myself. I have a partner. I want to say partner in crime, but we don't do crime. <laughs> we do, we do legit, legit stuff. stuff. All right. Partner in legitimacy. Yeah, partner in legitimacy. That's what we are. <laughs> so we're getting stuff done and putting in the work. Like him and I were not lazy, and I'm not lazy too. So when he says, babe, let's try this out and try to do this with the business and see, you know, what will come out of it. We just... Just do it. Do it. If it fails, it means we're going to learn something. We always learn something from our failures. We don't, um, we don't get intimidated by the work that has to be done. We do the work set our intention for what we want to see if it works out great if it doesn't work out we always learn from it that's right and do something else until we get what we want so i'm super grateful um staying focused and also with youtube too with our youtube channel it's really like i see a lot of people are coming back and people are inspired by our content yeah hopefully we're inspiring some people so, and uh, mm -hmm. hopefully we're a little entertaining Mm-hmm. And not boring <laughs> and dry. So there's a lot of spiciness to our lives, right, babe? Oh, yeah, we're, we're, uh, uh, I like to have fun. Yeah. And, uh, I know a lot of people are watching, including you. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know yourself. Jelly. <laughs> so we're not peanut butter and jelly all day. Yeah, but um, pretty much just, you know, going about the, the things that we need to tackle, things coming up, things we want to do things we're setting the intentions for and we just want to encourage those of you who have like goals and dreams and you if you're still sitting and you haven't taken action the steps towards it just get up and start get doing something get up and do it get off your butt that's it get up and do something don't just wait until the time is perfect it'll never be perfect right babe just put the intention out there i was listening to this little story about jim carrey i like jim carrey quotes mm -hmm. they get you know a little crazy sometimes but he was like when he was like a young kid, he was like, his teacher said uh, that all you got to do is pray for what you want. It'll come to you. And, and so he went home and prayed for a bike for like a week. And then one day he comes into his, his living room and there was a brand new red shiny bike. And he was like, what? And uh, somebody had, you know, entered him in a raffle that didn't even, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't even know. And he got the red bike. Exactly. Babe, I think the teacher also told him to visualize himself with the bike. Yeah, something like that. You can't just pray about it, but you have to see yourself with the thing you pray for. And uh, he said he went and did like Hail Marys or something like that for a week. Mm -hmm. And he came back home one day and I was a bike there. And he's like, I've done that ever since. He's like, I made Hollywood in my mind and created my millions. Yeah. So, so 
Even my coach, cool. Arash Vasugi, he always says it, that you have to approach life from the assumption that you already have what it is that you want. First, you got to know what you want, right? See yourself with it in your mind and act right. as if you already have it. He says, he says the action that you put towards it is going to build the self-image that results in the manifestation of what you want. You know, I just realized we don't have mics on. It's loud enough, you think? It is. People can hear us. I hope you can hear us. This phone's pretty good though. It's very good, it catches our voices. See that? Somehow they got a photo of me and they put it on a beanie. Uh, yeah, it's a tiger. <laughs> a Siberian tiger. But yeah, you guys, people, you're mm. a bear though. A bear. You're a ferocious brown I'm bear. A, I am a bear, I'm like a biger. Grizzly. I'm a biger, a biger. Okay, a bear tiger. A bear tiger, or a tear. Mm. No, that, that doesn't sound bear. right. Biker. Biker sounds right. Kind of sounds like biker though. Beggar. <laughs> beggar. No, I'm not a beggar. Not a beggar, but a be <laughs> Okay, let's just stop. But, but yeah. Berger. <laughs> oh, there you go. That kind of sounds like Bear a burger. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a burger. I'm a you snake. are a burger. You <laughs> did, uh, look at that. Ooh, yeah. mm, give me that. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, Ouye means meat in Ibira, my local dialect. Uh, okay. Give me know. that Ouye. Babe, you know what it is. I've been teaching you. I'm on the fence with that term. And you don't like the Ouye because now I'm grabbing all the, ah! the rolls. <laughs> rolls? <laughs> Definitely no rolls. Does this look like rolls to you? Baby, your arms are pretty amazing, <laughs> but there's still some. Hey, Let me see the down. rolls. That's why we're black, so I blend it in the back. <laughs> But baby, you're really, you're doing good. Taylor's doing good. He doesn't miss the gym unless he, ha he has to. Unless, it's a, unless some, you know, president's got to fly me out or have like a CEO meeting in New York. Or... Oh, we've been going around, we've been doing a lot of stuff. Like when we've been like up and about, you know what I mean? And then you were like, we've already worked a lot and that's like cardio and stuff. Maybe I should just relax because I'm tired. Like, I like to go for long walks. Um, I like to walk. I still go for long walks, yo, one hour walks. Being pregnant. That's sometimes my body just feels like I'm not pregnant, and then when I try to do certain things, it pulls me back. Like, oops, you can't do that. There's a growing baby in your belly. But yeah, um, I think we must get ready. Well, we're already ready, but we have to go. No, we don't need to go. Babe, remember when we went there last time? They came in at 11:15, and I then knew they started that. cooking. I knew that, but he said 11, so we are on time. We're always on time. Doesn't mean that. We can't still be on time. Yeah, you guys, what he's talking about is that we have this um, food review we need to go do at um, um, Leviticus 5 Bucks. You guys have seen it with our coach. We're going to do another season. one. There, there's some things on the menu that we missed mm -hmm, that, that we he, haven't tried he, yet. Uh, has either added? Could he add them? He's added them and some he had, but he didn't have them available. Okay, yeah. So some he's added, some he didn't have available. So we're gonna go and do those last items and a little sneak, so we give them a little sneak peek. I think it's gonna be like grilled sandwich, yeah. chicken sandwich, uh, maybe like some salads. We don't know. We we're we're excited we're to go see what so, he has, but he makes the most amazing man, stuff. Man, so good. Well, if you haven't seen the review of the first review, go check it out. It's killer food, man. I mean, unbelievable food for like six bucks. Six bucks to get everything on it. I mean, Insane, and then uh, I believe next month we're gonna go back and do another review. Yeah, he has a bunch of sides that we're gonna do. That we're gonna do. So check it out. Look forward to it. We'll be posting that probably today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We just let him have it today. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. But yeah, you guys, we're very excited, and yeah, we gotta do this. And if you have a restaurant and you watch us from Georgia, oh hello, hello, locked down man. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just. Taylor's very proud of Just me, of himself, <clears throat> and I'm proud of you, babe. I'm glad that you like it and that you want to be locked down by me. It's awesome. It's beautiful. It's classy. Mm -hmm. It's manly. It's nice. Yeah, I know, right? If you guys got a real good look at it, I'm gonna see if I show it to you again. It's got some bling on there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy that you feel this way, babe. Me too. What would you say? We uh, jump in the truck and head out. Right now. Doesn't it take 30 minutes to get there? About 20 some minutes. Yeah, we'll, we'll head out shortly, but anyways, let's just say, tell the guys bye, I guess. You guys, we just got a lot of stuff to do, but we know, you know, we are, we've committed ourselves to making daily videos. 
and uh, making sure that you guys are following our journey i know a lot of you guys want to want to see us succeed and some of you guys are waiting to see us, us fail i like that because as we keep succeeding he's gonna be like dagger in the hearts of those who want to see us fail you know what i mean i just love it like i love proving the comp the um the naysayers wrong but at the same time that they are not my fuel though my fuel is the the life that i want taylor already knows what i want what my goal is when he talks about the, the little things i've accomplished i'd be but see this one you see that one that's what i want <laughs> i want it it's like babe let's just appreciate the distance you've come and how far you've come so well, i'm grateful we're doing great as already so i know we're, we're on our work so we're on the right way. track it's, it's just that like, you know when you feel in your goals. body you feel you in your body like okay i'm excited that excitement is there you oh, know yeah. what i mean that drive to take action is there so we're going it we're going at it pretty soon we're going to be taking you guys on our journey for uh shopping for home yes so uh we've already kind of started secretly on the low key on the just, low key, just looking at what it is that we want but we're gonna get we're gonna soon full blast full blast start. yeah we have to and i've got some some secrets in the back pocket for that yeah we've got to because there are some things and and plus travel is part of what we do too so we, whatever we buy is going to have the amenities we want and then it's going to be within a certain frame where even if we travel one, not worry that our house is getting like, you know what I mean, babe? Yeah. But anyways, you guys, we're just excited, honestly. Life is good. God is good. We're, very, we're both positive. And we're always on time. Babe, are we what whiners? We do. do we whine about stuff? If there's something going on, do we whine or do we just go ahead and do what we can do at the moment with it? And I mean, I can play the violin. <laughs> <laughs> For a small violin. Babe, hush. He can play the violin too. He can actually. He can play the violin. He can play um the what what do you call that? Piano. The piano sorry. You don't know what a piano is called? My brain, babe. The piano. I got it now. Play one of those one things too, a string, what do they call them uh the guitar. You play the guitar, but we have that small, is it lula or whatever that stuff is? Hula. Uh, is it ukulele? ukulele? Ukulele. I don't play one of those. I would. But you could, I though, would. if you wanted to. I play the flute, I don't care. I'm yeah. not afraid. You're a man of many talents, babe. I'll be babe. front line on the clarinet getting down to Metallica. I don't care. Babe, you know, you know your, your best talent that I, that I think is my favorite? What? It's how you care. Your caringness. Ooh. That is talented, isn't it? You're pretty talented. And how you like to feed me. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you want this? Let's go. You want that? Oh, babe, how you feeling? You want this? What are you craving right now? Go make it. <laughs> babe, you just fed me like two minutes ago. I'm good now. No, babe, tell me what you want. So I really appreciate it. Like, I'm not really yeah, used you. to being like cared for like this and hounded with the carriage. Axed and I'm going to do that for you. You just chill, babe. Let me handle it. <laughs> I'm used to being the one handling stuff. So to have somebody who's taking over that, it's like, oh. Babe, you notice that I'm still getting used to it, though. Have I gotten used to it right now? No, she's like, no. You have done enough today. <laughs> I'm like, all I do is make you lunch, dinner, and breakfast. And I'll bring you some cocoa. Yeah, because I like my hot cocoa. So you've done enough. Let me you do, have do done stuff. so much. Stop. He gets all freaked out. I'm like, calm down. Just sit down. It was like, no, You're I'm pregnant. Down. Sit down. I'm like, babe, I know I'm pregnant, but I've always been doing everything <laughs> until that baby comes out. Like, no, you can't do that. She gets dramatic sometimes. I just get dramatic because it's not, I'm still, you guys pray for me. Now, some of you guys watching right now, do you feel that way? Comment and tell me how you feel. If you've, you've, you've been so used to taking care of yourself and doing things for yourself. And maybe if you had certain people do stuff for you in the past, but they did it from a place of resentment and you didn't really feel the vibe. Well, you chose, you know what, it's better I do it myself than a lot of people. But now you have somebody whose intentions are pure. They're actually doing it. And it's like, you're trying to get used to being taken care of. Tell me how you were able to allow yourself to get taken care of. Or tell me if you're still struggling with it. Because, babe, would you say I'm still tr struggling with having someone who wants to take well, care of me? Well, it's a mixture of that and hormones. <laughs> or like, hormones. <laughs> Not Miriam. But hormones, <laughs> you're acting crazy. No, I'm just kidding. I don't say that, but yeah. in my mind, sometimes I do. But I just be like, gotcha. No. And, but uh, yeah, babe. But but you think you think I'm better? And I'm doing better. She's awesome. I mean, I'm doing better now. I, I have children, and I've uh, you know I'm not a newcomer to pregnant women, and you're amazing. I am. I don't have any black eyes or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> falling down the stairs or running into any doorknobs, so I'm okay. I'm, I'm doing good. Oh yeah, I'm not mean. Am I mean? No. You just know what you want, so which is good. <laughs> She'll let me know right away. There's no confusion if she's pissed off, happy, or whatever. She's just like, 
I don't like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. That's good. I don't have any to guess. There's no guessing with it. There's no which guessing. Is, which is really nice. It's not like, I'm fine. Which, you know what that means. Nobody, <laughs> know, nobody knows what that means. She doesn't ever say that. No. She just tells me straight up, so which is good. But anyways, once again. <laughs> we gotta go. Oh, I'm gonna bring it up that we're late. Yeah. Anyways, you guys, thank you all for watching today. We really appreciate everyone. Yeah, stay tuned later for our food review. Yeah. Follow, subscribe, like. Uh, Miriam's joyful luxury vacations. Joyful life, luxury vacation. Joyful life, luxury vacation. .com. We need to get Taylor to say anything right because he's the one who figured we should change the name. I'm gonna get a tattoo right here, and then like Miriam life. Miriam life, you know, like babe. <laughs> but you need to get this right. .com. Yeah, Miriam's joyful life, luxury <laughs> vacation. No s at the end. Yeah, no s, just Miriam's no joyful luxury. life. Babe, life! Everybody knows his joyful life! <laughs> so many words. Miriam's joyful life, luxury, vacation. High five. You got it. I did it, Peter. You did it. You did it, baby. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Thank you all for watching. You guys are awesome and amazing. I appreciate y'all so much. And let me see that ring again. I think this ring is fit for a Viking. Yay. You deserve it, Bad my Viking. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. See you guys later. <laughs>